Mr. Harmony Hunk? Sorry, I don't think so. Oh, Ethan, come on, be a sport. It's to raise money for charity. You really want me to strut around in front of strangers in my bathing suit? Mm, well, I can think of worse ways of spending a couple of hours. You're a great help, Gwen. <laughs> I understand. You're afraid of losing. Losing? I don't think so. What do I change? Over there. Don't forget to put on some body oil before you come back. What? Oh, stop acting so shocked. <clears throat> Try and enjoy this as much as I'm going to. Besides, I've always wanted to sleep with a muscle man. Well, in that case, see you later. <laughs> Gwen, how about we get some really good front row seats? Okay. I see Josie over there. I'll be right back. And Teresa, do not try to call Ethan again while I'm gone. Don't worry, Whitney. Josie! What took you so long, Teresa? The contest is about to start. Oh, I just need another minute. Do you know where there's a phone? Can it wait? I need you to go check on the guys and make sure they're wearing their sashes before they come on. The locker room's right over there. Okay. Come on, guys. Suck in those beer bellies. We're on. Let's get it. Go. Go. Yeah! Well, if it isn't Ethan Crane, and if it isn't the handcuff happy cop, well, minus his uniform, don't tell me you're in this too. Doing a friend a favor. What's your excuse? Didn't know what I was signing up for. And the best man win. Thank you. I will. Hey, you want some more of this oil, Louise? That's regular oil, right? Not that liniment you gave me back in the locker room? It's regular stuff. Good, because that liniment's like liquid fire after a couple of minutes. That, that should do it. There's no way Ethan Crane's beating the Lopez Fitzgerald brothers in this contest. What are you talking about? Ethan Crane's in this contest. You're kidding. No, I just ran into him going into the locker room. I'll be right back. Luis just told me Ethan Crane's one of the contestants. What? Oh my gosh, I've got to find Teresa. My sister's here? Oh my god, you got to get her home fast. I mean, if those two meet, who knows what could happen? And with Luis here, just find her, Whitney. Okay. Listen up, guys. You'll be walking out over here on my right. I want you to walk across the stage and look at the audience for five to ten seconds. Give them a really nice flex and a big smile, and then turn around very slowly. Be sure you give them the whole 360. Then you'll walk off on the right. No way is Ethan Crane going to walk out of here with that first prize. Not with the big bad Lopez Fitzgerald brothers strutting their stuff. Right. You know, I'm looking forward to winning just so I can see the look on his face when he loses. Whatever floats your boat, man. Not to mention, it'll be a great way to celebrate Teresa's getting over her crush on that jerk. Luis, could you come over here, please? Later, later. Miguel, any sign of Teresa? No. Does Luis suspect anything? No, he's still going on about how great it is that Teresa's finally over a big infatuation with Ethan. Little does he know. Well, what are we gonna do, Miguel? I mean, if Ethan and Teresa run into each other and Luis is watching... I know. It's like I'm in the middle of a train tracks and the locomotive's coming right toward me. Well, we better find a way to keep Teresa and Ethan apart or there's gonna be one major train wreck. Contest is about to start, Simone. Where's that Ethan guy? They probably realized that he didn't stand a chance and slinked off. We'll give him a few more minutes. You know, I don't see any judges, Kay. Judges? Oh, I mean judges. Well, I had them mingle with the audience to uh, keep their anonymity. You don't have any judges. I know, Simone, but I have to make this look as real as possible. Besides, there is one judge, me. And I already know who I'm voting for. Surprise! Miguel wins the contest and me. 